Steve Schmidt has uh, uh, provided the drums for all of us and, and uh, he's doing a great job as a drummer too and he loves drums, builds drums and everything. Thank you, Steve. Yes, he does. Um, Larry Leck and I go back to the beginning of all this at uh, Pink Panther and, and Downey, actually. Yeah. Uh, I could digress for a second with, with Larry because Think about this, Larry. Gully and I go back to when he was 12 and was, had a little buzz. And... Think about that. Of course, actually, that was about the same time when, when Larry and I first started hanging together. And who do we got over here? Oh, Virgil, back home. Thank you, Virgil. There's, you know, um, I forgot what a good singer he was. That's, that's weird to me that I forgot. I, I know why, because he keeps saying, I've been in Nashville 30 years. I go, yeah, well, we didn't work together for 30 years. That's not good, that's not good. Why would you do that to us, Virgil? Why would you, why, would, why did you do that to us? Abandon us like this. You sound great. You're just an incredible talent and a, and a fine gentleman that, to boot. And he goes back to the, I don't know, I was 19, so I'm 16, 17, meeting Larry. Maybe a little older over there with Bobby. So anyway, I just wanted to say that because I think it's cool to know this stuff about, a little bit about these guys. And, and, and yeah, that and it is. It's history and it, this is our shot at it. We we're, we need to we need Gerard up here too, but I need to play with these R&B legends right here right now because I was kind of there when all this was going down. Yeah. Jay Summers and uh, is Bobby over there too? Yeah. So you know there's there's lots of firepower up here as far as uh, guys that can play lead, which reminds me that uh, I wanted to acknowledge Eric Turner. I haven't even talked to him, and Eric and I have played in front of a million people together. There's a few people in this room, Larry Leck and I. I would say a million. So I've got uh, Virgil for sure. So we played about a million. I don't know. There's a little club that, and I like to. I, I like the sound of that. You know, it sounds good. Uh, Bobby Cochran on the end here could could rip this building apart in his sleep. He could do it on with one foot. And there's a reason when you go to the Nam show, you'll see Bobby Cochran there because the people that make this stuff. They know they want him to show it off. So you'll hear more. Kick it, Virgil. I'm waiting. What are we waiting for? Tracy, where's your arm? Give me the man, my man. Why did you do it? 